So, so we are here strengthening Ubuntu and bridging the gap to oneness. As I've said already, spirituality is something that is inherent in all of us. And when we take the time to remove the barriers to that spirituality, we can access a part of ourselves that has never been challenged, never been hurt, never been ridiculed, never been criticized. And we can focus on the beauty, the strength of who we are. This is about celebrating our African heritage. It's about recognizing who we truly are as spiritual beings and that we have the power to completely shift the paradigm. This is the call of our time. My memories around Ubuntu are very much um, related to my Caribbean background. My parents come from a beautiful island in the Caribbean called Caracou. And I've heard many stories of my maternal grandmother frying and cooking bakes in great abundance and passing those on to my aunts and uncles so that they could take them to school and share them with their classmates who perhaps may not have had anything at all to eat that day. And I think Ubuntu is something that has traveled with us. It's perhaps been slightly dormant in wider society. So I think very much it is a gift from Africa for the rest of the world. And this is something that's really important for us to strengthen. It's in kindness, it's in compassion, and it's in what we show to each other. And it is indeed that kindness, compassion, and love that bridges the gap to our divinity and to our unity and of course, ultimately to oneness.